It's officially over. Finally, we don't have to listen to any more talking points or sound bites from the DNC. But Kamala did something that she could never take back. It had people screaming, effing liars, at the top of their lungs. I'm going to show you what she did to end the DNC, and she can never reverse this again. That's the story I'm going to bring you in just one minute. Right, huge favor before we jump into the video Lisa asked me to fill in today so if you could make sure you're subscribed to her channel if you haven't subscribed to mine she'll put a link just above would love you to click on it you want to support both of us your means of supporting us is at restrictedrepublic.com discount code independence monthly checkout four dollars a month for two years best part cancel anytime it's where we put the content that you can only find at RestrictedRepublic.com, we did that a long time ago because it's the suppression engines locked down. Well, there, you're always free to get the news you deserve. Referenced and researched, RestrictedRepublic.com. But now let's get back to this broadcast. Oh, don't worry, it won't take us long to get to the heart of this story. What did Kamala do? As we lead up into election 2024, the most important election of our lifetime, but we can finally say the DNC convention is over. There was no agenda. Nothing presented of any substance, just, well, venom, hate, spewed time and time again. But yet Kamala has the audacity to end it by saying, there's no room for political divide. But that's exactly what you created during your own DNC convention, so we're not going to listen to you anymore. But before we get to the end of this story, I want you to just point out something that's brewing up in the background. FBI chief warns of unprecedented rise in security threats. That's right, Chris Ray coming out beating the drum of we got some trouble coming. Now, of course, it's Chris Ray, so he just wants the spotlight when so many other things are going on. Speaking to reporters in the Associated Press at the FBI's Minneapolis field office on August 21st, Ray said, hard pressed to think of a time in his career where so many different kinds of threats are all elevated at once because, Chris, you're not going to have a job in a few months. Oh, man, what a better way to try to preserve your job or cause a disruption then start saying all these things are being elevated. How long did you guys have to solve it? But you did nothing about it at all. Now, what are they warning of? I think we're going to go from Russia, Russia, Russia to China, 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 because all the intelligence reports are saying the same thing. FBI warns Chinese hackers are poised to hit UF infrastructure anytime with a devastating blow. Well, why didn't you do something about it? At the last minute, now suddenly it's going to occur. Come on now. We've been around this way too long. FBI chief seeks the $11.3 billion budget amid elevated threats. But again, even if we give you the money, Chris, you going to do anything about it? Of course not. Your agency is run amok. Your agency is out of control. I'm going to give you more money because you've represented we the people. I've seen all the reports, the cybersecurity posture of the United States 2024 report, where there's a fundamental trans transformation in the nation's cybersecurity structure. Of course and we're in the midst of that transformation, but we're not responding as quick as China is. I'll tell you, it's China, China, China. Annual threat assessment out of the U.S. intelligence community. We could go through the foreword, but I could just get to the highlights of the report, because guess what? China has the capability to directly compete with the United States and U.S. allies and to alter the rule-based global order. It's all about China now, isn't it? Biden suddenly has to change our nuclear posture Strategy refocused on the Chinese threat. China saying, how dare you? I have a feeling soon we're going to be hearing about China, China, China. Just like we did with Russia, Russia, Russia. Last time around, this all happened at once. Right amongst the DNC convention. Because it was a failure. It didn't work. Nobody believed it. Nobody bought into it. They were, well, there was hypocrisy at a level I've never seen before. But let's not jump ahead too far. An expanding array of actors are attempting to steal national secrets, sensitive data, intellectual property, and technical and military capabilities and undermine and disrupt U.S. foreign policy and intelligence operations. They've been doing that for years. Years. And we've done nothing about it, have we? That's why we need Trump back in office. But they're not going to like that very much because he will uproot the infrastructure of the machine. At least we hope he will. Back to that cybersecurity intelligence report. Nation state adversaries have increased targeting critical infrastructure. That's a story as old as the day is long. The U.S. intelligence community threat assessment. China, 
China, China, China, and China. Now, why do I say this? Because I don't want you to be blindsided. Because we remember last time all the threats from Russia, Russia, Russia. Well, now right around the same time, here it comes with Chris Ray putting out his report on China, China, China. Be prepared. Because they hoped the DNC convention would have given Kamala Harris a big boost. But it didn't. So now their only thing is to talk Trump, 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 which is pretty much what the DNC convention was about anyway. Make him the villain. Make him the evil one. Why China is rooting for Trump. You see, it's already happening. It's so predictable. They do it time and time again. But how did Kamala make the biggest error she could ever pull back? Because we'd have to think for a moment that most of the voters at that convention were there to see her. <laughs> Not the case. They had made it like a concert to make sure that people showed up because nobody really cared. The protesters cared more than the people within. And so they had a problem. So they had to tease and bait everyone to show up to the DNC convention to get you be to believe that people actually wanted to be there. All signs point to Beyonce as a 2024 Democratic National Convention surprise guest on its final night. But there was a problem. Something that is irreversible. Remember, we're dealing with Kamala Harris, who's still given no interviews. 33 days, no press conferences. It appears she wants to stay out of the spotlight, or they're keeping her out of the spotlight. You see what happens when she answers a question. So how do we possibly get our candidate to look popular? Well, we invite popular people, who people actually want to show up and see. A free concert of sorts. So we'll tease the fact that Beyonce or some mystery guest between George Bush and Beyonce, and I can't remember, there was someone else who I can't remember. I think she's dating Travis Kelsey. But nobody showed up crickets but that's all right because Beyonce didn't show up the tease was enough the tease was so much that people actually showed up and it forced them to stay till the end and when the end bell sounded nobody was there no mystery guest viewers rage after false reports of Beyonce performance effing liars lied to get people to watch that's how horrible this campaign is they have to lie to people to get them to watch. Live updates from the Democratic Convention. The band is practicing Beyonce songs. You see, they did this time and time again. TMZ even jumped on the story. They had to eat crow afterwards. Beyonce, not a DNC after all. Wonder who told them to report on it. To drive traffic. To get people to stay through Kamala's speech, who nobody obviously had a real interest in ever listening to. But they want you to believe that she's leading in all the polls now. The bump has happened. The bump never happened. Their samplings are corrupt. They're sampling more Democrats than Republicans. And Trump has been steadfast, and now he'll creep back up past her. But don't sit back and relax. Don't accept that as a victory, ever, ever. We must continue to engage in this process. After watching the DNC 2024 DNC convention Thursday and hearing Kamala Harris speak, my thoughts are, where was Beyonce? Democrats said Beyonce and or Taylor Swift. Oh, that, that's, that's the name of the other person. Swifty. I don't know. I can't stand her. Would be at the DNC disappointing conclusion after being teased with promises of quality entertainment. Hashtag fail. But the DNC convention was a fail. This person saying, I want to fight whoever started Beyonce rumor again. The only reason they were there is because of someone else. Not Beyonce leaking that lie that she would be at the convention to make sure y'all tuned in to one of the most important nights of the DNC 2024. Ha, touche, queen. Touche. They fell for it. So all that proved is that the lie. You needed to lie about Beyonce to get people to watch this junk. They even lied about Beyonce so people would not leave early. Effing liars. All over the news today, they said there is going to be a special guest, probably Beyonce or Taylor Swift. They lied to get people to watch. Just proves that they will lie about everything. They lie to their own people. They lie to their own Democrats. Whatever would have anyone believe that they just simply won't lie about everything. You see, Kamala demolished the DNC with something now she can never take back. These people were there for a free concert. They weren't there to hear Kamala speak because they knew she would have no substance. She would have just more of what was already there. Maybe she should take the advice of TMZ to quote the great Beyonce. We got to lay our cards down, down, down. We got this one wrong. Well, the entire convention 
got something wrong. They thought that people would actually care about what Kamala has to say. But the only reason they were there is because they f promised them free stuff, free goods. Wait, now, that's socialism, isn't it? It's Kamala Harris's convention. Well, now doesn't it all make sense? I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight, signing out.